In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the meta offense that every single professional Madden player used in the MCS Ultimate Kickoff Final 8 last night in the Madden uh, Club Series. Alright guys, what's up? My name is Cody. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies on the channel. All right, guys, so we are in the Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook running the shotgun bunch offset formation. Pretty much every, literally every single pro ran gun bunch in some form or another. Now, I have a full ebook out on the gun bunch. It's not just the gun bunch from Indianapolis. It's actually the gun bunch concepts from every bunch in Madden 22. So we cover Seattle's bunch. We cover Indianapolis's bunch. We cover um, we we cover Washington's bunch. We cover uh, any like I said Indianapolis's bunch, and we also cover Carolina's bunch, which you saw a couple of pros in last night as well. So that being said. The best uh, concept from Gun Bunch this year, at least one of the number one reasons why this uh, offense is so good, is because of how good this play double post is. So we broke this play down in the ebook. I wanted to give this to you as a little bit of a preview play. And again, if you want to get the full Gun Bunch offensive guide, there's a link in the description below where you can get access to that offense. All right, guys, so double post. All we're going to do is we're just going to drag the slot receiver. That's it. And what you're going to notice is this tight end, whenever you put a drag and a flat together, it is a complete glitch this year. It really is. Um, hard flats, they don't defend the hard flat. So, for example, here you're going to see I'm going to have hard flat coverage on the field, and I'm still going to be able to throw this ball and at least get you know 10 to 15 yards if I've got a tight end that can truck uh, like a George Kittle or a Darren Waller, even an O.J. Howard is really effective uh, for this. So, so you're going to see, I mean, I could literally run this flat route over and over and over and over and over again. Now, match coverage, in my opinion, that's what I just ran, that covers this the best. So we'll move to our second read on this and our second read is the running back in route this is probably as long as he doesn't get caught up like he did there you go from the in route and then you go to the drag route now the running back in route i would argue is the best route in the game this year um this little angled in route that you see right here i would argue that this combined with that tight end flat route two of the best routes in the game and as you can see just absolutely lethal in terms of how this concept really comes together then what they're going to start doing is they're going to maybe go to some man coverage to try to take this away well the beauty of this running back route is it beats man and it also beats zone coverage and as you can see this is consistently getting separation now the beauty of this is this is not the only setup that the pros use but one last thing i did want to go over is you have a high low on both sides of the field so with a post chart of the middle so as you'll see right here this r1 receiver dragging across wide open just like that now i want to show a little bit of a pro concept you don't see the pros hit this route much but this is something i do want to show let's say they just play hard flats on the bunch side which is honestly very rare but let's just say they do what you're going to notice here is that this tight end wheel route when it cuts the field just pass lead that to the right and as you can see it's going to get open if they don't have a purple zone so they're only going to have a flat a purple and a deep zone to be able to take away the right side of the field and they also have to have the same exact concept to the back side so what it's going to create is it creates this necessity um, for your opponent to go to a Mabel coverage concept to stop the high lows you have on both sides of the fields. Well, the problem with that is it leaves this post route wide open over the middle of the field because there's no one in the middle to take that away. And so what your, what your opponent is going to do is that's where they're going to really kind of primarily focus their user is over the middle of the field. That being said, I want to go over our second setup out of double post, which is going to basically uh, really put a lot of stress on this. So all we're going to do is instead of putting the the crossers like the mesh we're going to put essentially a spacing concept we're going to put the running back on an out route one of the best routes this year and then we're going to put the r1 receiver on a hitch you saw this a lot in the uh in the tournament and what you're going to see is this hitch gets wide open and basically what happens is you force the opponent to have to make a decision are they going to guard the hitch 
or are they going to guard the the, the uh, post route? So you'll sh I'll show you right here. Uh, they just run out of players, man. Like this this play just forces so many adjustments. And the cool part is you can quick snap it, man. You can snap the ball so fast this year. So now oh they're gonna stick take away the hitch route, and now you got your post route coming over the middle once again, getting consistent separation. So this play is honestly one of the hardest plays to stop this year. Um, this is only one of the concepts that you can use out of the gun bunch. The beauty of Gun Bunch this year is there are so many effective concepts um, that you can use. Another one, for example, would be to use um, a curl route on the left side. Uh, again, for this Mabel coverage concept, if they're running a Mabel coverage, then what you're going to see is your curl route will sit in a very unique position. So that is why all of the pros this year are running the Gun Bunch. And if you want to learn how to run the best of the best Gun Bunch concepts in the game from any playbook, you can choose the playbook. That's what's beautiful about it. We give you all of the content concepts in this one guide for 15 bucks it's a one-time purchase it's not a recurring thing one-time purchase 15 bucks we'll break down every single thing that you're seeing the pros run out a bunch and we'll also break down some unique setups that we have come up with our own to make this absolutely lethal thanks for watching the video and if you want to get my gun bunch offensive guide there is a link in the description and you can get that for just 15 dollars